Day is right around the corner. It's Sunday, May 8th, and your little kids or grandkids might be stumped on what to get mom for Mother's Day. Well, we have you covered. Please welcome back Lindsay Almeida with her son, Kingston, Thank and you. we have projects, things that we could make as gifts for Mother's Day. So, welcome, guys. Thank you. Welcome, Kingston. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, buddy. I thought it's a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's talking about the, the glue. He wanted to make sure you knew just use a dot because a dot is a lot. <laughs> We're starting with safety right at the top, and I like it. Thank Jordan. you. He knows a lot about me. So what do we got? Okay, so we have five easy projects that kids can make for mom. Right. And, of course, they're going to need a little help. Probably dad, grandma, favorite aunt. Somebody's going to have to help a little. But these are things that Kingston helped me with. So we know that kids can do these. And when I was thinking of some projects to show, I wanted to find some cool gifts because... Because everybody's be got the honest. macaroni necklaces. Yes. <laughs> you know, I made a lot of those. Yes. Or pottery that doesn't look like what it's supposed to. Exactly. So these are practical things that look really pretty that you could actually have out. So right. I totally get that. Thank you, Mark. And you know, <laughs> no matter what, mom's going to love whatever you make. But we have some pretty cool ideas for you. So starting over here with these jars, Kingston and I painted them white. They're just a, a mason jar, plain yeah. mason jar. Yeah, they were mommy painted them white, right. and then and mommy sandpapered them to look old. And That's you ate right. all the jelly We wanted of them. them to look old. <laughs> right? no? yeah. And then Kingston helps me put the trim along the top, and that's Maybe. just any any trim makes uh, any project job, cuter yeah. in my no, opinion. Absolutely. It's a little accent piece to put on here. Right we have, some right. we have a lot here. of different kinds. Why all right. Here? Okay, so then I wanted to show you this tote bag, because <laughs> Kingston, how did we do this tote bag? Yeah, can you explain you this, Kingston? Do you remember this? Yeah, we we dipped it in really dark dye. Uh -huh. We used RIT dye and put it in a bucket and dipped it about halfway up. And then after a couple of minutes, we just kept pulling it a little higher and higher so the bottom would be darkest. Yeah, and the top would be lighter. That's, That's right. And I like the glitter that you put on the top. And yes. one thing, moms could always use bags to carry stuff. Exactly. We, yeah, you can't have too many bags. Now this is cute over here. So this is just a regular picture frame. Yes, the dollar store cheap it. frame. Yeah, you just like put it around like those little things. Just put the dot of glue on those little things and then wrap it around. So once yes. again, a dot of glue, right, Kingston? Just a dot. So because... I don't want to. Should I use the whole tube down here? No, no. just a dot, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is how this frame turns out. It's just a little picture holder. We wrapped some yarn around after the fabric was on and used this cute little clothespins. Um, close yeah. Yes. Now, where do you get the clothespins at? Because I like I got the... these at Michael's. Okay. And then what about the fabric? Okay, so the fabric is all just scraps from other projects that I had done. So it was just left over. And that was one of the beautiful things about these projects. They're very inexpensive because we use things that we already had on hand. Yeah, and then I wanted to cover this because Kingston yes. was so proud of this. Kingston, what, what did you use to make this? Uh, I find I already told you. you no, know, you did, but we weren't on TV now, so we wanted to let everybody at home know. What, what did you use for that? Uh, shaving, cream shaving cream and food coloring and egg dye. That's right. Yeah. And we, this one was a little bit more complicated, so we put a link to this project on my website in case anyone wants to check it out. And we just added a fun frame and thought this would be a great way to give some artwork to mom. Sure. And again, these look adorable. You could showkase them, and it's better than the traditional macaroni that's or fruit right. necklace that <laughs> I used to make as a kid. Yes, that's right. Well, Kingston, Lindsay, thanks for coming back for more Thank information. You, Your website? Yes, it's lindsayalmeida.com. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Also, coming up, we're taking you inside the St. Augustine.